Hello everyone, welcome to SAP Technomaniac. In this video, we will learn about two annotations. First annotation is metadata ignore propagate annotation and second annotation is object model user type. Let's get started. So we will understand first this metadata dot ignore propagate annotations. What is this annotation? To understand this annotations, we have to know some of the basics of how the annotations are evaluated. So it soon is we will activate this DDL source. This whatever we have defined, though these all are the annotations will be saved in one system table. And these system table will be used further when we evaluate this particular annotations. So evaluation of these particular annotation is done by CL DD DDL annotation service class. This is the class we use to evaluate this all are the annotations. How this class evolution will do? It will get all the annotations. So for understanding the evolution, there is again three type of annotations are there. One annotation which we define in the metadata extension file. So if you don't know about the metadata extension file, apart from these annotations, if you want to define some other annotations, we can define some annotations in this new metadata extension file as well. There we, most of the time we will specify the framework specific annotations. Like for Fiori, we will specify the Fiori specific an annotations. So these are the annotations called metadata extension an annotation. And apart from metadata extension annotations, there is Two other annotations also there, direct annotations. Direct annotations means which we define in the CDS itself. These are the annotations called the direct annotations. And third is indirect annotations. Indirect annotation, again, there is a two kind of indirect annotations. One is the derived annotations and second is the inherited annotations. So derived annotations will be come from the uh, data element uh, and data element further detail for example data element and domain so some of the fields if we don't define that field description then that field descriptions will be derived from the data element so those those will be done by the derived annotations it will done internally and it will be implicitly derived from this particular data element or domain and the description and the uh, hover fields, uh, hover description, those all the descriptions come automatically uh, through these annotations. And last but most important, uh, that is the inherited annotations. So those inherited annotations will come from, suppose we define one CDS entity and we are getting the data from the another CDS entity or another uh, table. So in another CDS entity, when we are getting the data, in that CDS entity, what all are the annotations defined? Not only there, in that another CDS, what all are the direct annotations or meta data extension annotations and derived annotations are available in that particular CDS, which we which CDS is used in this particular in this CDS, those and those annotations come from that CDS to this CDS. Those annotations called inherited annotations. So this particular metadata ignore propagate annotations equal to true means it will not consider the inherited annotation. This is the purpose of particular annotations. So for uh, understanding this annotation, we should, we should know how many kind of annotations are there. So if it is true means inherited annotations which comes from another CDS which we have used in this particular CDS, that, that CDS, short CDS, uh, those annotations will not play any role here when we put this annotation as a true. If it is false, then by, by default, what all are the annotations are there in another CDS, those also will be considered when we evaluated, when this class will evaluate all the annotations. Next annotation is object model uses type. This annotation defines the how much data volume can handle your CDS and what kind of uh, data is available in your particular CDS and what is the performance expectation of that your uh, your CDS and what needs to be done if you define particular uh, CDS if you want to improve the CDS performance. 
So these are the three things you can see when why on large that is a main annotation is the object model users type in this we have three sub annotations which is defining different different things. So first is the data class uh, annotations with this annotation we already know from our table we already when when we create the table then we already define what kind of data this table can contain this table contain master data this table contain transactional data customizing data so this we can define again the data class of that particular uh, particular cds what what kind of data in this cds contain based on the data class this will the cds can perform optimally based on when it it will be called in any application so you can see either it can be master data if master data means the data will be stored uh, it will be uh, changed very very less and it will be stored somewhere and it will read very frequently and change very less time and transactional data as you already know purchase order data sales order data it will change day to day data and customizing data for the custom customizing purpose and the metadata something called if we have some technical attribute uh, regarding the systems and all detail that kind of data is there in your cds then we have to define that it is metadata and mixed data category means if you have suppose your cds have two three tables one or two table is having the master data another table is transactional data and another table is having the customizing data then you have to give your table is the mixed data category organizational data if your cds you contain the organizational structure related data then you have to tell my cds contain the organizational data and transactional data which we already know uh, from our data when we define in the table so as of now i can put the mixed data category my cds can contain any data category of the table then second annotation i can say sub annotation of object model uses type is size category it it will define the how much data or how much volume of the data can contain your cds if it is the if you see the list what can be it can be small medium large excel or extra large based on the number of record if you are uh, if you have defined the small means thousand up to thousand record your uh, cds uh, can contain and if you are having the large means it can contain up to 1 lakh and if you have medium it it can contain 10 million around if you have extra uh, if uh, if you have extra large then it can contain 1000 million around so it's a uh, depends uh, uh, small it's starting from 1000 then you keep on 82020 based on that it will increase the your size of the uh, volume which your cds can handle so as of now let it be small so no need to worry about that and last but most important is the service quality the service quality basically defined that then you, how your cds uh, will perform when uh, when how your cds should be performed when you give the special i want the service quality is a my cds perform uh, very well then there is a different different service qualities are there a b c d and p depends upon different different requirement we have to give a to d and we can give uh, x also there is a different different service quality we will go one by one service quality and see what what is this service quality and what kind of data can handle this service quality suppose uh, it by default x so let me go i have already some notes over there which i prepared from the sap documentation again so service quality a it is telling that it is a high volume if you have the high use the high volume transaction then you should use the service quality a but there is some prerequisite the important thing is whenever you are using the service quality a then you can't use more than three ddic table in your cds view second important thing if one of the table is buffered then you have to buffer entire your cds view cds view apart from that you can't call any function you can't do any aggregation on the uh, large number of tables and not only that last but most important if you are following this all the things then if you are reading one record with full key some of the fields then it, you will get less than one uh, that record in less than one millisecond if you are getting entire the entire row itself then you will get in two millisecond so this is the performance if you are following this rule and you are if you are defining the service quality a then you have to follow these rules and you will get this much performance
then second quality is service quality b instead of three tables you can use up to five table all rules are same but the performance will be little bit lower because more lower than service quality a you can use up to five table and all the rules apply same which is apply on the service quality a but your performance will be two millisecond two millisecond to five millisecond based on that how much field you are getting in one uh, one uh, one row or single line when you are reading so this is next service quality is the c it is also you have to follow all the rules same rules you have to follow and you can fetch up to 15 table still you can't do the aggregation but you can still uh, if you want to call some function you can call within uh, within the cds you can call function but if you are uh, if the if you are the same rule will be applied if the your single table is buffered inside your particular cds then you have to buffer entire cds itself and last but not least since you are using up to 50 table you have to there will be less performance the, your single record will be re read in between 10 millisecond to 15 millisecond and last data category not last but i can say most of the time we have to use a to d and the, the d data category is, say, is saying if you have more table up to 100 table you can use in the d data category but there is no restriction in this category you you can do aggregation you can do the lot of function also you can go anything whatever you want to do you can do but you have to make sure you have to check the performance uh, you have to day to day you have to monitor the performance how it is working it's by the test framework like that it is telling SAP is telling but you can do whatever you want if the, your data service category D most of the time we have to use A to D and last but X uh, said data uh, data category uh, in this data category you can have more than 100 table but SAP did not recommend to use X and P because uh, p is not at all is useful in the business application at all we never use in the business application and production system p and but x sometime we can use but still for the specific purposes what for the such a data migration and is for special application cases you can see what they are telling in the system so this is not nothing new i just did f1 on the service quality i was also not knowing that much about the service quality just i get to know this idea basically it, it tells us how many tables you, you if you use this particular service service quality what all are the restrictions are there what you have to follow if you follow that much all the things then you will get this much performance so based on your service service quality in this video we have learned about the two annotations so in next video we will go further we will use this defined view entity in our program and we will enhance further this defined view entity with the different different functions before going to that next video please like this video subscribe this channel with that thank you and happy learning